From the Target 12 investigators, a controversy between a politically connected business and frustrated homeowners heats up. It's a clash between Cranston zoning ordinances and a state law several claim was passed for one company. And a meeting about the issue is underway right now. Target 12 investigator Walpi Cho has been tracking the story and brings us the latest. The taxpayers who live near Northeastern Tree claim the business has outgrown the neighborhood and they hope the city they pay taxes to can help. Northeastern Tree Service grinds mulch just beyond Rob Grisevich's Eddy Street backyard. Grisevich claims these chunks of wood were propelled onto his property from the grinder and he says some of the projectiles have been metal. This bag of debris was collected by his next door neighbor, who tells us one of the chips punched a hole in her siding. It's shot straight up in the air, and you don't see it when it's coming down. Land records show Northeastern Tree is located on just over an acre of land, but over the years, company owner Michael Seepy has bought a dozen pieces of property, mostly homes, that now surround the business for a total of about six acres. A 2013 state law set the minimum for mulch manufacturing at five acres and shielded this type of business from being considered a nuisance to neighbors. Sponsor Charlene Lima insists the law was not passed just for CP's business, but all but one of the bill's sponsors are Cranston politicians and six of the seven, including Lima, received campaign contributions over the years from CP. Mayor Alan Fung has received more than $18,000 in contributions from CP and his family members since 2008. Neighbors argue neither the law nor zoning ordinances should protect CP, who they claim is using residential land for industrial purposes. According to Grusevich, this pile of mulch is in what were backyards of homes CP bought. This 20-foot pile of logs is on what he says was a driveway of another home that belongs to this mailbox. Very frustrated. As many complaints have been made, uh, either myself or the neighbors, uh, nothing can be done. Mr. CP has not responded to multiple requests for comment. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.